can you just uh, give us the assessment of the games up north over the weekend and kind of how you thought it went? It was a mixed bag for us, you know, up there. You know, uh, obviously we lost both games, which is always hurts, you know. Um, but there was moments in there that, that the guys put in great effort, uh, especially in the, the second game against the University of Washington. You know, we had um, very, very good energy. You know, the, the effort was there, the passion was there, and just made a couple, couple big mistakes, uh, inexperienced mistakes um, that cost us the game. So, um, you know, we're, we're going into conference knowing that we've played one of the tougher schedules in the country. And um, that, you know, we've played, you know, you know, at Creighton, at Cal, at Stanford, at UW, Portland. Now, these are all very, very good teams. Um, and we have to keep that in perspective uh, going into conference. How do you think uh, a lot of young players on your team this year, how do you think they're coming along with the tough preseason schedule? I mean, how do you think you guys are progressing to this point now? I think we're, you know, I think we're, we're doing fine. You know, I think sometimes in college sports, you know, the, you know, when you have such a young team, you know, you take a step back, a couple steps back, and you go, it's, you know, uh, you know, we played a tough schedule with a young team. And uh, for us now, it's not necessarily just about winning. It's about our effort to win. And, and that's what we're doing. The guys are learning how to compete. And, um, uh, and that's the main thing, you know. Um, if we, if I had to do it all over again, you know, um, would I schedule this with such a young team? I might schedule a little bit different. But um, I think in the long run, uh, we're going to get stronger because of the schedule that we have. What do you think, or how do you assess the Big West this year, and kind of how do you see that coming to uh, shape this year? Well, I think it's it's a very strong conference again. You know, um, you know the the teams that are at the top. You know, Santa Barbara. Is doing very well. Northridge is doing well. Fullerton, our next opponent, is doing very well, having beaten some good opponents, um, and, and Irvine. So, our objective uh, for the remainder of the, the year is to get top four in the conference, and have a two-game tournament to the NCAA playoffs. That's what we're after. That's what's great about a conference tournament. You know, you're never out of it, and uh, that's why it's so exciting. These games coming up, the conference games coming up. You recently had the uh, the player edition, who I forget his name escapes me right now. Uh, what what was he like up uh, north, and how do you think he play and fit in with the team? Junior uh, Junior Burgess is uh, you know transferred to us. Um, he's a, he's an exceptional player, and he's fitting in great with the guys. You know um, he's going to be a big asset for us. You know he's learning how we play, uh, but uh, he's he's really brings a talent to our team and a different dimension to our team and and. Uh, I think uh, the fans are also going to enjoy watching them play. So, um, you know, when you haven't uh, when you haven't won, you know, you lost your last two games. You, you're feeling like, uh, you know, you, you put a lot of effort in without any result. But I, I can I can see some good things coming. And then, if you could just kind of you touched on, but talk about the upcoming game with Fullerton. How you see that matching up, and what uh, what you know about them, and what are you guys expecting uh, heading down there? Well, we're we're down there at Fullerton. Uh, it's a big field, you know, an 80-yard field. Uh, they play, uh, you know, a very attacking soccer, you know, very technical team. Um, last year they were young like us this year, and uh, now they're all a year older. That's why, you know, last year I think they were, you know, they were sixth in the conference. And, and that year of experience now, uh, and now they're one of the top teams in the conference. Just like UC Irvine a few years ago, they were last place in the conference, and they went from last to first in a year. Um, from young players getting getting more experience, so we're we're dealing with a different Fullerton team than last year, and uh, so it's going to be it's going to be a challenge to beat them and or to get a result. And then, not that you guys are looking ahead, but if you would look ahead for us to Davis, what you know about them, how they're playing, and how you kind of see that matching up as well. Um, Davis um, is a lot like us this year. You know, Davis is struggling um, as far as their their record. You know, I think they're two and six as well. Last year they were, you know, an NCAA playoff team. So um, they're young again as well. They lost a lot of key players, so they're they're rebuilding a bit as well. Um, it's always a great rivalry, though, you know. And we'll have a we'll have a great crowd here, great support. So uh, that game on Sunday, we're not we're not looking at that yet, but um, 
that's going to be a, it's going to be an exciting match. Hey, coach. After the wins here at home last week, last week it looked like there's some momentum. Um, took a couple steps forward, and then uh, you know maybe a couple of steps backwards uh, up north. I mean, how disappointing was it to see the team, you know, not sustain the momentum that you'd created down here? The first half of Portland, we played well. We um, we had more of the possession. We had more shots. We had more corners. Uh, we were knocking on their door. And in the second half, we just came out very, very flat. And Portland just just they just came at us and uh, really just uh, took it to us in the second half. Um, they ended up winning the tournament, beating Creighton, another national, a nationally ranked team. And so you know, we lost to a legitimate team. Portland's now six and one, and I think third in the West Region. Um, but we were disappointed in our effort in the second half. So against Washington, we came out with a lot more passion, a lot more pressure on the ball, and and. Um, you know, I thought we, we played well, uh, well enough to win, except for a couple mistakes, youthful mistakes. Um, I don't think it's a step back, you know. I think it's just another learning experience for us. It seems like, um, just from listening to you, over the course of the month or so, I've, I've been to a couple of games, that the team's played well for half, certain halves, you know, either the first or second half. I mean, is it just, a, for whatever reason, the problem putting together 90 strong minutes? Yeah. Yeah, and I think uh, we're, we're, you know, we're giving up goals, you know, you know, last year, you know, we had a pretty exceptional goalkeeper with a lot of experience, Eric Brannigan Franco, and uh, you know, now we have two first-year goalkeepers. You know, they're playing their first college season, and uh, they're learning, learning by doing, you know, and they're, they're, you know, um, you know, some of them have been goals, costly goals, so. You know, we just need to keep training, keep working, and um, tighten up our defense, you know, protect our goalkeepers a little bit more, you know, prevent shots from happening. And, uh, you know, I want to get, I wanna get uh, some clean sheets. I want to get some shutouts. And, uh, you know, Fullerton is, is going to be where we start. I was going to ask you about the defense, especially away from Spanos. Um, it looks like the last four games, almost an average of three goals uh, per game allowed. Um, the two games here, most recently, one goal, but yeah, one goal allowed. Um, for whatever reason, I mean, it just seems like you guys are having some difficulty keeping the ball out of the net, your own net, on the road. Is, is there anything you can pinpoint there? Just it's just hard to play on the road. You know, um, yeah, it's more it's more difficult to play mm -hmm. on the road. You know, and uh, I said we played against some quality teams like Cal. You know that if you make a mistake, they're going to punish you. You know, and. Uh, you know we've given we've given goals away, you know, um, and uh, there's no, there's no there's no excuses for it. We just got to get better, you know, and 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 tighten it up. And our goalkeeping has got to get sharper. So um, that's what we got to do. On a positive note, if you look at your record, uh, well, this isn't positive two and six overall. But I mean, in the Big West, there's a zero and zero there. I mean, I'm sure that's something that you're relaying to the to the guys that hey, it's a fresh slate right now, a clean slate, um, and the season essentially starting anew right now in the Big West. Uh, is, is that something that you've made a concerted effort to tell the guys that you know it all starts you know on the uh, what two days? Absolutely, you know, it, it it starts in two days, you know, and you know we got the conference tournament two years ago, and um, what a ticket that is, you know, to to turn around the season, you know, to to Get top four in the conference, and then when you're when you do that, you know you have an exciting conference tournament where anything can happen. You know, crazier things have happened. So uh, yeah, we're 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 keeping that very clear with the guys. They know that, and uh, you know the one thing that you can always you know count on with Cal Poly soccer um, is we're we're not going to stop trying. You know, we're going to keep fighting, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna play passionately. And uh, um, that's one thing that this team will always do. Thanks, Coach. Good luck.